as a project manager, one of the biggest challenges, get that team, get the best of the best, the best resources, and then engage them and make sure they work to the best of their abilities among each other. As a project manager, if you have worked in any project, the most challenging part is to gather the best individual and make sure they give their best in a team environment. Individual can give best when working alone, but once they are together, then it becomes a challenge. Tuckman ladder or stages of the team shares us that how each team passes through different stages till they reach the best ideal stage where they really become team. In this video, as my continuous effort to make sure you understand how different articles, how different things happens in the project. And maybe this time you get it into your bones. We will try to understand Tuckman ladder. And if you like the way I use the analogy of one of the top movies of all time, Avengers, I'm going to use the Avenger one in this video. So if you like it, put it in the comments. And if I receive 100 comments, I'm going to explain the entire project management from the series of Avenger. So let's take into the consideration and explain what is Tuckman Ladder. Let me give you an idea of Tuckman Ladder and then I will go to the Avenger movies actual scene. I hope I don't get a copyright from uh, YouTube, but let's see. One, th one of the biggest thing when you talk about getting the team is this is basically uh, time. As the time passes, this is productivity. Get the best individual. And once as a product owner, as a scrum master, I get the team, let's say uh, Nick Fury, who was handling the entire thing is the product owner. Okay, he's identifying what team members you need and Captain America is your scrum master servant leadership. Okay, so the first stage will be forming stage. What do you think? Who should be the best uh, scrum master? Captain America or Nick Fury? Put in the comments. Once you are in the forming stage, a new team is there. Now everyone is best in their abilities, have done their things in the past, in their dynamics. If I take this, Captain America, Steve Rogers is of course Captain America. He has defeated Nazis. Then Tony Stark, billionaire playboy, he is the best in his thing. Of course, he's Iron Man. Then Hulk, he is the power gang. He is then Thor himself is a god, or you can say demigod, but there's the most famous hammer, one of my favorite characters. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Black Widow, she is one of the best agents. Hawkeye, they are one of the best. So every single team member is best in their own abilities. Now, they are there. They will try to give the best and doing their things that we do the best. Forming stage. Okay. Then reality sets in. They start fighting with each other. The fight can be because of the leadership. I am the head. Okay, because everyone is our individual performing to the best of the abilities. The fighting can be because I consider other persons are right. In the case of Avengers, they consider that uh, the organization, okay, that was hiring them. They have other initiatives that can take priority. They were having nuclear arsenals, looking into that. Whatever the reasons, you get into the storm exchange. Okay, as a project manager here, your job is to listen, understand, reinforce the vision of the project, why we are in this thing. Understanding each other can really, really help you to elevate uh, your team to the next stage, where it is norming stage. Okay, now still, now it is better than forming, better than very good than storming, but still it is norming. Okay, still we haven't reached the ideal stage. If it is not managed properly, we can go back to the storming stage. And I will give you a beautiful example of this stage. Okay, I kind of love this thing. Like although we have reached the norming stage, but one small thing can take back to you storming stage. When you do best, then you go for a performing stage. Here, every team member is doing the best of their abilities. Okay. And mostly it comes like 30% of the time when I have passed, we understand, we respect the leadership, we know, okay, 
maybe I'm more stronger than him or I'm more smarter than him or I have other reflexes. But my team leader, whom we have chosen, like in Avengers at the end, they choose Captain America as their team leader. He's a team leader, let's listen to him, let's hear him, let's look into that. In the performing stage, the team member, even without saying, go and do their best. And we will see in the last scene when Tony Stark almost give up his life to do that. And then adjourning. Now, this is a very beautiful thing. Adjourning, it does not happen in this movie, but if you look at the Iron Man 3, which immediately came before after that, now they have gone back to their life. There is sadness, there's a thing. Again, they need reinforcing, coaching, maybe looking for the next mission. So that is Tuckman Ladder or Stages of Team. One thing which is not in this Tuckman Ladder, I would put it pre-forming stage. Now that is my addition. In pre-forming stage, we identify the strengths, weaknesses, what are the strengths of each team member, what are the weaknesses of each team member? Why do we even need these team members? What is their role? So if you look at Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2, Nick Fury is trying to recruit uh, Tony Stark in Iron Man 1. But in Iron Man 2, he decided, no, he is too narcissistic. He is too self-indulged uh, that maybe he will damage that. Okay. And he's looking at every team member. Then maybe Thor is not a good addition. He's having second thoughts, understanding strength and weaknesses of the team members. Everyone has a strength. Everyone has a weaknesses. It's all human beings. So you need to look into that, which are the strengths and which are weaknesses. And do we have that many strengths that we can understand? We can overcome the weaknesses. Why? Because behavior is something we cannot be uh, like the negative behavior should not go to other team members. And we see one of the biggest character of Avengers, uh, Tony Stark, my favorite, uh, favorite of every mechanical engineer. We all want to make that Iron Man suit. He is kind of a self-indulging person. He's kind of a, not a good behavior, not a good role model, if I say it in a right words. So yeah, we need to manage him, engage him and see, does his strengths, outperform his weaknesses, which happens in this. So we need to look into that. So let's go to the video and let's see how we can do that. We'll start with the forming stage. In the forming stage, if we look at here, so basically Nick Fury, who led it as an initiative, he wanted to do it. So I'll take it from there that he said that there's an initiative to work into that. There was an idea. Stark knows this, called the Avengers Initiative. Now they're working with team. The one. idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people. The project is to get the best of the people, best of their abilities, just like any project that you want to do that can has the best abilities to perform. See if they could become something more. We want the best people to get together and see if we can get the best results, right? See if they could work together when we needed them to, to fight the battles that we never could. So to fight the battle, what is he doing? He's making kind of a project vision. If you understand, project vision is being made here to fight the battles that we could not do. So ground rules are set. The ground rules are being set. What is the reason of their, how team members are going to behave. Team charter, project vision is being set. What a, like I would say, beautifully to fight the battle that we could not do. It's the easiest vision that can be explained. Bill Coulson died still believing in that idea. Now you can consider that one team member here, one of the agent died. So you can consider that one of the team members, last project manager believed it, but he could not execute it. Now they need to take on that. This can happen that one project manager has left. How would you take that vision and recommend okay. So now from forming, the team is saying, let's start working. The team will start working. The vision is clear that the roles and responsibilities are clear. So we'll start working from there. Okay. So that was kind of a forming stage. Now happens the reality sets in. He explained the vision, but now the problems come here. That each team member 
start saying different things. This is the interesting part. This is the most important part that is storming. Storming. Stor whenever a conflict happens anywhere, the project management, it is storming. Taking for the signature now. When we hit a hit, we'll have a location within half a mile. Yeah, let me get your cue back. No muss. No fuss. What is phase two? Phase two is S.H.I.E.L.D. uses the cube to make weapons. Sorry, the computer was moving a little slow for me. Rogers, we gathered everything related to the Tesseract. This does not mean... What happens here, the Scrum Master uh, may be having conflict, the product owner or the team having conflict among each other, that they have different priorities. Organization may have different priorities. Your project can be less priority. Whatever the reason can be, the conflict has happened. I'm sorry, Nick. What were you lying? I was wrong, Director. The world hasn't changed a bit. Did you, team did you want to think about removing yourself from this environment, Doctor? <laughs> I was in Calcutta. I was pretty well removed. Loki is manipulating you. And you've been doing what exactly? You didn't come here because I bat my eyelashes at you. Now you see, the team is blaming each other. Loki is blaming you. The two team members have started fighting with each other. Exactly. The beautiful storming. Not leaving because suddenly you get a little twitchy. I'd like to know why S.H.I.E.L.D. is using the Tesseract to build weapons of mass destruction. Because of him. Now, blaming, right? The guy, the one of the performing guy has no idea and suddenly he gets the blame for him. Okay? Me. Last year, Earth had a visitor from another planet who had a grudge match that leveled a small town. We learned that not only are we not alone, but we are hopelessly, hilariously outgunned. My people want nothing but peace with your planet. But you're not the only people out there, are you? And you're not the only threat. The world's filling up with people who can't be matched. They can't be controlled. Like you controlled the cube? Your work with the Tesseract is what drew Loki to it and his allies. It is a signal to all the realms that the Earth See, is Now, corrupt. if you uh, put a blame on that team member, he will fight back. He will fight back on you. A higher form of war. A higher form? You forced our hand. We had to come up with a nuclear some... deterrent. Because that always calms everything right down. Remind me again how you made your fortune, Stark. I'm sure if he still made weapons, Stark would be neck deep. Wait, wait, hold on. How is this now about me? I'm sorry, isn't everything? I thought humans were more evolved than this. Excuse me, did we come to your planet and blow stuff you up? Understand you treat your champions with such distrust. Are you boys really what that naive? That you? Everyone, everyone fighting. It's storming. Ideal. I'm curious. I'm Captain America's on a threat one. You're not your concern, Doctor. You're on that list? You let me Are you take above or below any of these? Stark's a cool guy. You made one ball by his little friend. Now it's a classical case. Maybe you need to look at here. Tesseract is doing a Loki uh, stone. Which stone is it? I am sorry, I'm forgot. Okay, so that's a uh, stone can a vision, vision stone uh, can be that stone goes into vision later on. So that stone is causing, but something is causing a chaos. It makes chaos. I shouldn't have got yeah. Just billionaire playboy. I've seen the footage now. I think we will start fighting with each other. Okay. You're not just cut. Every no. Competitor can get help from there. So this is time. Until you turn me back into this right? region, Roman, if you want to. Tesseract belongs on. It is going to be further now. After that, the project manager need to listen that which happens. The entire team starts uh, spreading. The everyone then uh, uh, in this movie specifically external factors that actually impacted the project. So uh, they get together. Whatever the reason is to, I would recommend as a project manager, you need to listen to them, do the proactive and try to resolve the conflict using the stages of conflict. This uh, classical stage is a, if we go to the st st stage one problem to solve, it was before. Then it was initially stated at disagreement level. Okay, we were disagreeing why you are using nuclear diet. Then it became to contest when Nick Fury put it because of him. If you win, we lose. And then they start, Tony put it into the entire group ideological. The nuclear is always the solution to crusade. And finally, it did reach to world war where everyone started fighting with each other. Let me show you the world war. So now it actually reaches the world war where Hulk actually got converted into the group. Uh, Look at here. Just converted into the hull and started fighting the battle. Okay.
world war so project manager need to act like that to resolve the conflict and if you resolve it now we need uh, we have reached to the next stage stage 3 which is norming now norming is a phase uh, if you manage it properly the team starts to moving towards a performing stage which is a ideal stage for every project manager but if you don't manage properly if you don't manage it properly it goes back to that it's a stage where you understand the habits of each other but some things can lead you back to the storming phase let me show you something that happened that can lead you to the storming phase okay here hulk and thor they are doing their work whatever they are supposed to do and suddenly hulk has a problem with everyone so let's see what hulk does he punches or he had a conflict with his team member again now that can go back to the that can go back to the storming stage or if it is managed if other person understand they are uh, uh, okay there is a problem we need to look into that this can go back into the norming stage and then finally into performing stage same interesting stage norming stage is now if you manage it properly if you handle it now we reach the performing stage in the performing stage every team member is performing the best of their abilities let's see performing stage in action Yeah, Bruce Banner. Everyone gets together. We need their conflict. We may have used smoothing here. We may have used avoiding here. Problem solving, collaboration to move from storming to normal to performing. Let's see. Seems horrible. I've seen worse. Sorry. No, we could use a little worse. Now here Sorry. we are complimenting the yeah. strengths and weaknesses of others that they need is. Uh, dark side is weakness side. Maybe that weaknesses or uh, that is an opportunity here, right? They are exploiting the opportunity. He's a risk. He's a risk for the team member. They are exploiting him. Just like you said, and tell him to suit up. I'm bringing the party to you. The team is combined. Let's try to fight to them. I I don't see how that's a party. Lot of challenges are there, and this is the performance stage. One of the most iconic scene of Avengers. I remember when I was watching this movie for the first time uh, back in 2012. I started clapping because this scene was so emotional. This is performance stage. Mm -hmm. Right. Doing the best of their ability, so team works and they can conclude the project. Even one of the thing in the performing stage, the beauty of the performing stage, why we want to reach is that team members go beyond their image. They try to give their best. This is something we human always want to belong to something that is superior than us. That is, we like we want to work something that will outlast us. And let me show you what Tony Stark does here. that basically out uh, try he tries to even kill himself he goes to the wormhole uh, to save the planet so this is what a, a great uh, performing team member can do if you use him properly remember this was the team member who has attitude problem this was a team member behavior issue this was a team member narcissist they have called him all those things but they used him they understand his needs they listen to him manage the conflict train him in the pmp language mentor him coach him and now he is a top performing member so never fire that team member uh important thing for you this is the middle let me show you the entire thing you are unable to do that okay you are unable to stop the bomb no wait stock these things are still coming i got a new coming in it's going to blow in less than a minute the design is coming in the data Detects there a new target. A sudden a new goal happens. That can happen. Reprioritization. Product owner got something. Told the team reprioritization. The user story. Something became more priority here. Stark, you know that's a one-way trip. Save the rest for the turn, Jay. Sir. Sir. 
Shall I try this pot? Might as well. Right? Everyone now project is completed, everyone is celebrating. The performing stage has proven his record. The performing stage, what the project manager thought that this team member can become the best of the best, let's use him. Everyone was thinking that his behavior cannot work into that. So that is performing stage. Now, finally, we reach the last stage, which is adjourning stage. The project is over. Let's see. We won. We won. The project is completed. <sighs> project right. is hey, guys. Now, this is finished yet. Okay. It was the competitor, you can say. So that is completed. Right now. now we'll come at journey stage where we may need a new vision, new mission, things like that. I hope through understanding of this Avenger video, you can understand the team topic more. This can help you to understand the team in the best possible way. And if you want that I take from start, Till end and explain the entire project management using this series, I can. So I would be more than happy. But I will need your feedback to maybe motivate me that this is something you want. Looking forward and best of luck. And I hope you enjoyed it.